you would you would kind of expect there to be a a logo above the door and there's there's not i know but it's just really strange it's, it's also all... on the door thursday uh it's thursday lunch much it's lunch much that's it bye y'all have a great one ready to go yeah the flower? Yeah, the special flower that's like the Italian double O. You get a 55 pound bag of it. I don't know that we need 55 pounds. This place is really cool though. Yeah. We came into the, uh, what's it called? Just cooking. US Chef store. Cooking supply store. Yeah. It's really neat. We haven't been in here. It's huge. And all of the stuff that you buy is huge because it's for restaurants. But they got some cool stuff. I don't know that we're going to pick anything up. Probably not. Probably not. But it was just fun to kind of peruse through here. Yeah, I wanted to look in here and see. Yeah. And they, well, the, even if you don't need, like, I don't know, this many uh, cherries, like, they've got, like, cutlery and other little knickknacks for cooking. Pancakes? That is... Oh, there's so many pancakes. Pizza number four. I'm excited. This we've, one's thin crust. Yeah, we've made uh, we've made a few changes on this. The big thing is that the the crust is thinner, which is what we want. It's been nice to have, you know, a, a thicker crust because I like bread, and who doesn't like bread? But um, typically, when we do pizzas, we make the crust a little thinner. So now tonight. We've made the crust a little thinner. Mal made the dough yesterday, and um, I guess we'll have pizza in just a few minutes, and we'll see how it how it goes. When Mal portioned out the dough, it's probably a little small, so the pizza's a little small. I should have weighed them, but I already yeah. put the scale away. Well, don't worry about it. Don't worry about. It. We can always have a snack. There's nothing wrong with having a snack. Um, otherwise, today's been today's been pretty good. I do have a complaint about lunch. Little complaint about lunch. The food is fine, uh, Wild Wing. My complaint is that with Delta um, starting to to show up and rear its ugly head and you know pose a threat, it's it's made me a little bit leery about continuing to do lunch bunch. But for the most part, we try to go out of our way to find restaurants that are not as busy. Hopefully, it'll cool down soon enough that we'll be able to sit outside. Until then, I'm trying to be fairly mindful about where we go, where we take our business to try and find places that aren't super, super crowded inside. When we went to Wild Wing today, it ended up being a pretty good choice because there was nobody in there. And when we got there at noon, we were basically the only folks in there and they seated us. And I was like, cool, this, the whole restaurant is open. This is great. But then as people started to come in, they seated everyone literally all together. And I'm like, why did you do that? In the world of, of, of COVID continuing to, on, to be ongoing, the, the bare minimum that you can do is spread people out a little bit. Especially when the restaurant's empty. When the restaurant is empty. So like you've got the whole restaurant and the restaurant's fairly big and you have all of these tables and instead of just spreading people out and being like, we'll sit you here and sit them here and sit, instead it's just everyone is in one section. And I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. It's just little things that, you know, again, bare minimum, just <laughs> sit, sit people a little bit apart. Again, hopefully it's going to start getting cool enough. It's, it's, it's cooling down a little bit, probably not cool enough to sit for lunch outside but you know we took a walk the other day at night and that's the beginnings of it you know it's going to be september in like what five days Wednesday, something like that. i think it's soon mm -hmm. it's coming up Less really soon i can't believe it it's went fast but i'm looking forward to it it's been a hot summer it has been a excruciatingly hot summer we absolutely had to buy that air conditioning unit. Yeah. You were right. It wouldn't have survived. And I yeah. wish we could have gotten a better window one, but it just didn't work for up there. But yeah. this is the only thing we could do, so. I was a little salty about the whole experience at the beginning, because I was like, this thing is huge, it's in the way, it's, it's loud, loud, and it was expensive compared to a window unit. But mm -hmm. having now gotten through the summer, 
and I've been able to do it comfortably and kept the upstairs and the downstairs comfortable for both of us, it was worth it. The AC unit was worth it. And it continues to be worth it because we need it for probably a few more weeks. Some of the things I've been doing um, is obviously we talked about putting cornmeal on the peel, but I moved the pizza steel down one rack or slot in the oven than I had it before because the last few have gotten too burnt on the top. So that's helped. Well, it looks like it's going to help. This one's thinner, so it's different even then. And I've been trying to like keep an eye on about how long it should be and like, Okay, let's turn off the broiler. Okay, let's turn off the, the bottom one, just to kind of figure it out. It looks like a good pizza. It's got a bunch of the, uh, got a bunch of the uh, bubbling on the top. Well, the crust did get good. I was worried about it because it didn't look as dark as the last one. Underneath, you mean? Yeah, but it, it looks like it got a little brown. Okay. Well, the most important thing is that it tastes good, and I'm willing to uh, help test that right now. So how is it, Mal? I'm assuming you've already tried it. You have thoughts? You want me to try it first? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. that's That thickness looks nice, though. Like, mm -hmm. that's, that's the thickness... I'm excited. The um the texture of the cheese is nice. The cheese really got brown. Brown. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's kind of so. Here's the thing. It's a different cheese than we've been using too. Yeah, we got this had provolone and parm. Romano. Romano. Yeah. yeah. It, it's we're so here's the thing, and this is good. This I think this sounds reasonable to be honest. This pizza's good. It's hard to tell what pizza is better than any other pizza because to be quite honest, all the pizzas have been good. Mm -hmm. They're all pizza. Mm -hmm. They're all homemade pizza and they all taste great. So it's gonna be hard to try and slowly work towards formulating exactly what we want because comparing them is difficult. They're all very good. This is very good. Is this better than the last one? I like the fact that it's thinner. Mm, me too. I like that. I don't. I, I mean, again, I like bread, but I prefer my pizza to be thinner like this. But it's good. It is real good. It's fun to experiment too. Mm -hmm. You know, like make little changes. And it's one of the cool things about making a pizza yourself as opposed to buying like a frozen pizza or something at the store. So you buy frozen pizza, I mean, yeah, you're gonna get the same pizza every time, which could be a pro, but it's fun to like do little changes. You don't know exactly what's gonna happen. And even if you do it the same way, there's gonna be some level of variance if you're making pizza. So like, this is fun. I actually, I'm really having fun with this. Fourth pizza was good. Can't wait to see what the fifth pizza is like. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Gonna end off the evening uh, well, eating dinner and then watching uh, the new episode of Human Fall Flat. Dan sent it over, so we gotta watch it and see how it is. We recorded this. Oh, it's been a while. Do you know when? Mm -mm. It's. It was probably. I don't even know if it was summer yet. It was probably like April or May. It's been a while that we've just kind of been sitting on it. We've been releasing other stuff and not worrying too much about it, but it felt right to finally get it out, so we're gonna watch it tonight and see how it is. And if everything's fine, it'll be out Saturday. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?